If you are working on any vast data where you maintain details of employees and their sales, but during analysis, you are not able to analyze it properly, you must divide the master sheets into different sheets based on various criteria. In today's video, we will see how to streamline workflow by transferring the data from master sheet to separate sheets based on specific criteria. This video will be divided in two halves or two parts. In first half, we will cover the topic of transferring the data to various sheets. And in the second half, we will cover the topic of consolidating various sheets into a single sheet. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mock. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a master sheet where I have got all the details of the salesperson, region, date, items, quantity, sold and amount. And this data is really vast. And it's not possible to analyze the data one by one. So I have divided this data in various parts and the various parts will be employee wise. Once the data entry will be done in the master sheet, the data will automatically transfer to rest of the sheets. To do this, we will see two ways. So this will be in the first half of the video. And in the second half, we will see how to consolidate the data from various sheets. Let's see the example. In the second way of transferring the data in various sheets, this is the master sheet and data is divided in various parts as per the region. So let's start creating a new sheet now. Over here, I have got a data and the data is really vast. We will create different sheets for different salesperson. If we will do copy paste for this thing, it's going to take lots of time. So let's see what can be done. First of all, you will have to click inside your data. We'll have to press Ctrl A or Command A and the whole data will be selected. Now you have to press Ctrl T, a small box will pop up, create table. My table has headers and you'll have to click on OK. And a very beautiful table got created. In case you want to change the color, it can be done from here. I'll select this. In case you want to change the color of the heading, just select this, go to home and change the color. Once the table will be created, you will see table tab on the top. Go to table tab and untick filter button and the filter buttons will be removed. Now we will copy the headings. Control C or Command C will create a new sheet and we'll paste the headings over here. Control V or Command V. We'll increase the row size. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select this and we'll create borders. We will increase the row size. Now we will copy salesperson, Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. We'll select both the cells and we'll change the color. We'll increase the font size. Now we will click next to salesperson. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, we will select list, source. We will go to our data entry sheet. We'll click on first employee. We'll press shift, control and down arrow key. And we'll do OK. So the drop down list of employees got created. We'll select Albert. We'll go to home. We'll take this in center and we'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. Now we will click on the employee name and we'll create borders. We'll increase the font size. We'll make it bold. We will take this closer. Now we will select from invoice till amount and we'll select few rows and we'll create borders. We'll click just under invoice number and our formula will be plus or equal to filter bracket open. We will go to our data entry sheet and we'll select the whole data. We'll come on top. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged, comma. In the formula bar, we got the option of include. So what we have to include? We have to include salesperson. So we will click on top of salesperson. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged is equal to name of the first person is Albert. So we will type Albert over here. Double inverted comma, Albert, double inverted comma, close, bracket close, and we will hit enter. So we got all the details of Albert. We'll click on top and we'll take all the things in center. We'll take this in center and we'll take both of these in center. In date, we got some random figures. We will click on top. We'll press control one and the dialog box of format sales will open. We will go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do OK. And all the dates are over here. We will take this in left. We'll take this closer. We will go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Let's click on the salesperson and change the cell color. Now we will select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. I'll click on the first cell. In formula bar, we can see the formula. But when we will go to second cell, we are able to see the formula, but the formula is inactive. 
means the first formula is sitting only in the first cell. When we will change the name from here, Alexander, the data is not changing. So we will have to make it dynamic. We'll click on the first cell or first invoice number. We'll go in the formula bar and we'll remove the name from here. And we'll select Alexander, means name of the salesperson. And we'll hit enter. Now our data got dynamic. When I'll change the name from here, Colby, all the data of Colby got visible. I'll do it Albert, we'll come to sheet's name and we'll rename this as Albert. Now we will click on sheet's name, we'll press Alt and we'll drag this to plus sign. And the copy of this sheet got created. In the same way, we will create sheets for all the employees. So the first is Albert, we'll go to second sheet, we'll come on top, we'll click on the drop down and we'll select second employee and we'll rename the sheet Alexander. We'll come to third sheet, we'll select third employee from the list and we'll rename the sheet as Than. In the same way, we will do the changes for all the employees. So all the sheets got renamed. We will come to first sheet, means data entry sheet. We'll come down and we'll do some entry over here. The invoice numbers are till 272. We will put the invoice number as 500. In the name, I'll type Albert, region, south, date, I'll drag the date over here, items, tablet, quantity sold, 500, amount, I'll take 43,000. Now let's go to sheet of Albert to see the changes. Invoice number 500, Albert, South, date 21st June, tablet, quantity sold 500 and amount is 43,000. So whatever entry will be done over here in this sheet means in data entry sheet, it will be visible in rest of the sheets head wise or person wise or name wise. Let's see another example of this. Here the data is same which we have used in last example. We'll click anywhere inside our data, we'll press Ctrl T and we'll create a table. My table has headers, we will do OK. We'll come on top. As I told earlier, colors can be changed from here. We'll click anywhere inside our table. We'll go to table tab and we'll remove the filter button. Let's change the color of the table. I'll change the head color. Now I'll copy this, Control C or Command C. We'll create a new sheet and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll take this closer. We'll increase the row size. We'll adjust the columns. This will be helper. Enter. We'll click on invoice number. We'll go to home. And over here, we get the option of format printer. I'll click over here and we'll click on helper. So cell color as well as font color got changed. Now I'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. I'll make this row size bigger. We'll copy region from here, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. We'll click next to region and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. We'll create borders. We'll select both and we'll increase the font size. Now I'll select this and we'll create borders. I'll cut this, Ctrl X or Command X and we'll paste over here. Because we are going to hide helper column later on. We'll select this and we'll create borders. Now we will create drop down for region. We'll go to data, data validation. From here we will select list, source. We will go to data entry sheet. We'll click on the first region. We'll press shift, Ctrl and down arrow key and we'll do OK. So the drop down list for region got created. I'll select East. We'll go to Home and we'll take this in center. We'll change the font style and we'll increase the font size. Now I'll click just under helper plus or equal to if bracket open, we will select the region. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged is equal to. We will go to data entry sheet and we'll click on first region, comma. We'll select first invoice number, comma double inverted comma twice for blank bracket close and we will hit enter. We will take this in center. Invoice number plus or equal to small bracket open. We will select helper column from top. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged comma rows bracket open. We will click on the heading of invoice number. We'll press function F4 is to we will select heading of invoice number once again. We'll close the bracket twice and we'll hit enter. So our invoice number is over here. Now we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open, we'll come to the end, comma, 
double inverted comma twice. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will come to salesperson and we'll insert the criteria or function of VLOOKUP. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Invoice number will be our lookup value. We'll press function F4 three times comma. We'll go to data entry sheet and we'll select the data from top from invoice number till amount. We'll press function F4 and the sales will be logged comma column index number or column number. We want name of salesperson over here. So name of the salesperson is in column number two. We will put two over here comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So name of the salesperson is over here Albert. We will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter. Now we will drag this to right. In every cell we got the name of the employee. So this is column number two. This will be three. This will be four. This will be five. 6 and this will be 7. I just changed the column index numbers. We will select this and we will take all the things in center. In date, the format is general. So I will click on top, we will press Ctrl 1, we will go to date and we will select a desired date format and we will do OK. Now I will select my data from helper till amount and we will drag this down. We will come on top and we will Hide helper column. Hide. Now I'll select this and we'll create borders. So this sheet is for east region. When I'll do it west, we got the data of west. I'll keep it east. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. So this is for east region. I'll go to sheets name and we'll do it east. I'll press alt. We'll click on sheets name and we'll drag this to plus, plus, plus. So we got four sheets for four region. I'll rename the sheets. This will be waste, north, and this will be south. We'll come to east. Over here, region is east. We'll go to waste and we'll change the region from the drop down. Waste. We'll go to north. We'll change the region. North, south. We'll change the region from the drop down. South. Data of south is really vast. We will create more borders. We'll go to home and we'll create borders. Now, whenever the data entry will be done in master sheet, it will automatically feature in rest of the sheets. So these are two ways to transfer data from master sheet to multiple sheets. Now we will see how we can consolidate data from various sheets to one sheet. Over here, I have got various sheet of various employees and we have to consolidate the data in one sheet. So we will create a new sheet and we'll rename this as consolidate. We will click on any of the sheet. We'll select the headings. Ctrl C or Command C will come to consolidate sheet and will paste over here. Ctrl B or Command B will make the row size bigger. We'll adjust the column size. We'll take this closer. We'll increase the font size. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will select this and we'll create borders. We'll go to home and we'll create all borders. Now we will put the formula. We will click just under invoice number plus or equal to we stack bracket open. We will come to first sheet. We'll press Alt and we'll select our data. We will select few extra rows. Now we will press Shift, but we will have to keep pressing Alt. We will select the last sheet. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit Enter. So we got all the details over here, but we can see zero over here because we had selected extra rows. We'll click on the first cell because the active formula is sitting over here only. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of sort. S-O-R-T, sort, bracket open. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center. We'll click on top of date. We'll press control one. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. Okay. We'll take this in left side and we'll take all this in center. We'll click on first salesperson name. We'll go to view and we'll freeze the pane. Now we will come down and we can see all the data got consolidated. Now whenever the entry will be done in rest of the sheets, it will automatically feature in consolidate sheet. So in this way, you can transfer data from multiple sheets to one sheet. I'll provide link of practice file in description box in case you want to download you can.
I am sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.